Hello everyone, welcome to part 11 of the Cityville construction project. Uh, this is the first episode of 2015, so Happy New Year everyone. Uh, or if you, uh, if you like, Merry New Year. And of course, that's just a semi-obscure reference to a movie. Well, maybe not so obscure. Of course, it still takes forever to load the city. This time around, I'm going to work on expanding the uh, development uh, on the north of the main highway uh, in this area here. Um, I I, th I believe I was uh, thinking of doing uh, lower and medium density over here, so uh, that's what I'll start off doing. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to... Let's see. I think I'll put commercial stuff over here. Yes, I'll put commercial stuff over here. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay. I think that's what I want there. Dope. That doesn't work. And that's the problem with these fancy curves and the way the game's implemented. It likes to delete things way back from what uh, what you're actually deleting. Uh, right, I needed to replace the curve. That was a curve, a 45 degree flex. There we go. Okay, I think, I think this has to be done this way. Yeah, that doesn't work. Let's try. Try this. Okay. Yes, okay. That's what I'm going to do there. Excellent. Okay. Now, I also need. How much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, okay. I think I'll move this one up here. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Uh, yeah, okay. And I'll put some commercial stuff here. 
Uh, of course, I really need to put some water here as well. good thing to add here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put residential over here uh, by the amenities. Interesting, there's still agricultural demand. Okay, demands are okay for things. I think over here is also going to be medium density. Over this way, it's definitely going for lower density. I'm going to use wider blocks for part of this. and six. Right, okay, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So far, so good. And bring this one across like so. Of course, grids are fairly boring, but uh, the way SimCity 4 works, grids are just about the most efficient way of doing most things. Okay. 
yeah, that's not going to work so much. That can, though. As can that. And that. Okay. Now, what was I going to do here? Huh. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. I can actually make this diagonal. There we go. That looks bad. Maybe I can't. No. There we go. But I can do that. Okay, I'll do that. And this needs to come across. Excellent. Okay. I'll probably end up shifting that a little bit. Anyway. Uh, give, it, give this area some water. And we can do that easily by following the existing bits. Well, let's see. I'll bring that across. And I bring the pipes down the roads. I know it will overlap properly. Okay. Whew. Okay, so let's fill some of this in. This is low density zoning here. in here as well. It's always good to have some commercial for the for each neighborhood. Okay. Now 
Now, before I go too far, check fire coverage here. Yeah, I'm going to need some right about here. Okay. Back to zoning. density along the main road here. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, uh, now that I've finished that boring bit there, um, this area is filled in much more. Uh, and you can also see that now the budget's balanced. So it's just that easy to balance the budget. You uh, need to make sure you have enough tax base. Uh, the easiest way to get a tax base is to allow the sims to build more at least if you have space left in your city to do that if you don't have space well you have a problem then um, you could obviously also raise taxes but uh, you know the sims are just like uh, ordinary people in that respect they really don't like it when the taxes get raised okay so that's that area. Now, let's observe a few things here. You note the education level is way up 
almost maxed out. Life expectancy is nearly maxed out. Mayor rating is basically 100%. We have plenty of capacity for electricity and also for water. So, basically, as things stand in Cityville, uh, things are fairly stable. Now, uh, this does uh, raise the question of what I'm going to do in this these spaces here I'm gonna bring this forest area all the way across uh, I'm, I think uh, I'm going to end the sound wall here and just bring the forest along here yeah that's what I'll do so I'll back this off to basically even with the exit there and I'll start planting some forest there. And that would be forest park. How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's about six. So I'll start with filling this area in. And now I'll use the bigger chunks. Okay. Okay, so not only will this essentially serve as a notional wildlife corridor and so on, um, which is the idea I'm using for the forest areas in Cityville. If you recall, there's a mountainous area just to the north of the city, so it does make some sense. Uh, anyway, uh, here it's also a buffer along the highway. So it's going to continue along this way at least four tiles wide. And let's rotate the view here so it's easier to see. Okay, so that's basically where the forest is going. Now if I back off the simulation to a sane pace, it'd probably be better too. Okay. What I need... I need some roads in this area. have a cul-de-sac over there by the corner and, and I'll bring this up this way I'll bring this one through this way This one will continue like this just because. Yeah, I'll bring it that far for now. Bring. Uh, okay. Oh, I've got 
old intersections in there. Let's just clean that up. I don't know why I needed to clean that one up. Uh, those would have been from the old country roads that were there when the farms were there previously. Okay, I'll bring this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll do. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six, seven. Okay, there's that. Four, five, six, seven. And like so. And this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. I think I'm going to actually put a park in the middle of this one. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do there. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, in this area, this I'll bring across. It links up anyway. And one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll also bring this one across. And then I'll bring this down. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do for the moment. Okay. Good. Now, water. Okay. Start out by extending this one. Okay. And this one. Okay, that gets that. Bring this across. And so, uh, or perhaps so. Right, there we go. And just for completeness, I'll bring this one around like so. After all, it's always useful to irrigate your forests. At least in the game it is. Uh... Okay. Now I can start filling in here with some more zoning. Okay, so we'll start by putting residential here. No, here and 
here. And these will get commercial. Okay. Well, I didn't put the park in there like I thought I might. The proximity of the uh, forest along here is uh, probably sufficient to have the uh, same effect anyway. Uh, and speaking of the forest, I'm going to hurry it along a bit here. Okay, so that's the forest there, except for a few bits to fill in, like so. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to save the game. There we go. Now, fun fact, now that this stuff is here, there's no need for this power line over here since it conducts all through the zones. So, way it goes. There we go. 
Now, what's demand look like? Okay. Now I'm going to put some higher density stuff right here. Okay. Okay. And some slightly lower density here. Whoops, I wanted commercial there. Okay. And like so. Good. Okay. As you can see, the uh, budget is looking even better now. Okay. I'll probably fill in some trees in, in the uh, dead space here in the diamond um, just to represent this continuing across as it will continue all the way across until it meets up here which means uh, this whole forest area here is really part of the same one. I'm going for the notion that the city itself uh, was built on a fairly dense forested uh, area and these uh, little patches or strips of trees are all that's left of that original forest. Um, when the uh, city is uh, complete, uh, the uh, th these strips of trees uh, will be uh, the only indication of the wild uh, previous wild area. Um, I'm leaving a gap along the actual highway here. Uh, that's mostly a safety thing for the same reason real highways tend to have a gap between the shoulder and the uh, vegetation and so you can see any wildlife that might be uh, uh, popping out onto the road in front of you okay I think uh, before I call this apart I'm going to actually finish off the northeast bit here and that's this area here. Uh, now what am I going to build here? Uh, I've still got demand for commercial and uh, residential, so uh, I'll keep going in that vein. Um, 
To do that, I'm going to, what am I going to do? Right, actually I might make this all commercial here. Now what's my gap here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Well, obviously I should bring this road across. Uh, that gives me a gap of, that's five. So if I make that four along here, the forest can come in the gap here. Um, okay. So I'll bring this out roughly to there. Now I'm going to uh, do some something slightly different here. I'm going to split the avenue. Now as you can see you can uh, very easily just uh, split an avenue into uh, one-way roads. Let's see if it's possible. Okay, I need to get that going the right way. Nope. Okay. Is there a smooth curve? I'll slow this back down now. Curves. S curve 45, 90. Let's see if I put those in the right way. Yeah, I did. Okay. And then I finish linking these up. Okay, it needs to come one more and then down. And like so. There we go. And then I'll bring a... Ooh, I can't do that. Right, okay. I'll have to bring this down further. Okay, that's easy enough. I'll make a gap here, and then I'll bring the, a road out. The, okay, so that's what I'll do. And one-way road again. Well, curves, actually. Right. Like so, yes, okay. Now, this is going to be like so, and like so, no, no, no. There we go, yep. Okay, so I need to undo this. This is what I need here. Okay. Okay, I can back this off a little further. Okay, good. 
Yeah, if, if you think this uh, road setup looks a bit weird, there actually is, uh, in my area, a road setup that looks almost exactly like this. Um, it's it really it's uh, the end of a major uh, road uh, with a great big loop. Now, can I bring an avenue out of that? No, but I can bring a road across and bring an avenue in. Right. Wrong. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, that'll do. Okay. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now well, let's see what we can do here. Like so. Like so. Oh, I need to put water in there. Put some residential in here, like so. And in here, commercial. So, nope, like so. Okay, good. save it here as I think I'm just about to do something dumb okay now one, two, three, four, five. bring a road off here thought. Bring this road down here. Right. Nope. I can do that. Excellent. Okay.
Yeah, that doesn't quite work. I'm not going to do that. But... I can do that. Okay. Right. And, aha. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yeah, so I can do that. Excellent. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. Okay, that's not what I originally intended, but it just seems like the right thing to do. So, now I'll work on filling this in. We can call this capitalism at its worst. Or, I could just co-opt the area and actually build the forest. Yeah, that's, I think, what I, I'm going to do. Uh, let's turn this around so I can see here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think that's exactly how I want it. Okay. And Beside the bridge here, 
just the grass areas. The reason for that is the trees tend to grow rather weird in the game and end up popping up through the elevated stuff. So to avoid that, you just don't build trees right beside elevated uh, transportation. Um, okay, I think... Right. Need to bring this in as a connection. Good. Now, in here, there will be a couple more zones. And the rest will be forest. Okay. Let's see how the budget's doing. Oh, that's doing nicely. Okay. Now, let's do this the faster way. One, two. Now to fill in the bits here. And there's the there's what I mean by the uh, stuff looking weird. Still, I think I'm gonna leave it in that case. Ah, I missed a spot. There we go. And that is, as they say that. So these little roads here are really just uh, sort of a uh, park access thing. Uh, the idea being that uh, you know this road uh, really it's all just park access. Uh, yeah so I think with this, I'm going to call this the end of part 11. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of part 11 and the end of the first episode in 2015. Uh, next time, I think I'll move across the highway onto the southeastern quadrant and start uh, filling in development there. But as it stands, the northeast uh, section is basically complete. And there you have it, the uh, Cityville 
uh, tile in overview, you can see the forest coming along and linking up here. Uh, the forest is also, I think, going to continue on the south side of the highway here, the main highway. Uh, it's a good sound break, uh, among other things. Um, and it gives a nice contrast to the uh, urban development uh, beside it here. Um, so uh, that's it for part 11. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.